So I have with me a bag of acorns that some of the local kids dropped off. They were collecting them in the park just the other day. And uh, before we move on to the next step of getting them ready uh, to set up in the fridge, we're going to do a simple low tech test to find out which of these acorns are probably ones worth keeping. And uh, it's a very simple test to do. I'll show you how to do that right now. It's called the float test. And uh, the idea is, is that if you have a good healthy acorn, um, it's nice and dense. And um, you know, it's got a good nut inside there with lots of moisture in it. Uh, but if you have a, an acorn that's not so healthy, it might have some pockets of air in there. And those can come about. Uh, one of the main reasons you get pockets of air is there's a little insect called an acorn weevil. It's like a little beetle. And it, uh, it makes a little hole in the acorn and it lays eggs in there. And I'll hold this up, and I don't know if you can see the little holes there. I noticed one of the acorns had these when I opened up the bag. And uh, so inside there would be a little grub or like a little worm um, from the beetle that will feed on the nut and grow in there. So as a result, there's going to be some air in there, and the nut's not going to be healthy to, to germinate. So um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a little container here that I've filled up just ahead of time with water so you can see the water level there and with the float test all you have to do is dump your acorns that you've collected in the water and the healthy ones should sink to the bottom and the ones that you don't want to keep should float to the top and those will be easy to skim off the top and you can just set those aside so I'm going to just dump them here in the water and we'll see what happens of them floated and half of them sank so the ones that sank those are the ones that we want to keep we don't want to keep it in the water here longer than about 10 minutes or so um, so we're going to take all of them out the ones that are floating and probably not so healthy we'll set those aside and then we can just put those onto the ground uh, in the park where we collected them from earlier and then some of the animals there can recycle them um, in the park so but we want to keep the ones that have sunk to the bottom. So I'm going to skim off these ones here. I'm going to just put them in this bag, set them aside so we don't mix them up. All right. So again, these are the ones that are floating are the ones we don't want to keep. They're not really that healthy. Okay, and uh, I'll come back in just a minute and I'll show you how to do the next step.